hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha in this quick video i'm going to show you how to convert 2d autocad blocks into revit components and link them with the enscape assets but before i get started i would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my revit advanced courses now let's get started so here i have already opened this autocad file which has all these uh, 2d blocks if you want to get this project file you can get it from my website cadnates.com for free anyway let's zoom in here uh, in this cars section and i want to use this one uh, in my revit project so to convert this into a revit component we want to copy this into a new project so let's go here and create a new project i will just use this default autocad template then let's go back here and select the block which we want to convert into a revit component and then just press ctrl c and go back to this new drawing and press ctrl v and just paste that here now let's save this project file so let's go here and click save as and i'll just call it car now here if you are using an older version of revit you need to choose the older version of autocad here uh, i will just choose autocad 2018 and click save now let's open up revit and here uh, we want to create a new revit uh, family template so let's go to file new family we'll just go to this english imperial folder and let's look for the planting template don't use any other uh, family templates from this folder if you want to link this 2d block with enscape asset to make it work with enscape asset you must need to choose the planting template here now let's open this up now here you can see we are in the reference level and we want to import that 2d block into uh, this reference level here so let's go to insert import cad select the file and here in the positioning just leave it origin to internal origin and you need to focus on this import units here if you are working in metric units you can choose the metric uh, units here from this drop down for now i want to use the imperial units so i will just choose feet and then click open there you go we got this 2d block loaded here now we want to explore this so just select this cad file just go here and click explode and select this file again and we want to explode it again and you can see uh, this block is now exploded and let's save this file and load it into our project so just go to file save as family and let's call it car 2 because i have already created one here so let's just click save and let's load this into our project and here you can see i loaded that family into this project which i did recently if you want to watch the tutorial on this project you can check out the link in the description anyway to place this component let's go to the ground level and select component and i want to place that here so first i will just delete this landscape asset and then select component and place this 2d block here now i will show you how you can link the enscape asset with this 2d block because you can see the enscape assets does not look good in in the, the plan views the reason for that is revit does not support the high quality 3d models that's why all the enscape components have been turned into low quality models and that's why we get these edges on these components and we don't want to show this uh, in our 2d plans so so what we can do is just link the enscape assets with this 2d block so now when you use this project in enscape you will see the enscape assets and when you are working in the 2d plans uh, in revit you will be you will be able to see the 2d blocks uh, which you can create by using the method which i just showed you anyway to link the enscape asset with this 2d block we can just go to enscape and then open up the asset library here let's just scroll down and go to the vehicles because i want to link a vehicle component with this 2d uh, revit component so i will just look for a car family here which i want to use 
let's use this one to link this landscape asset with this uh, 2d component you just need to click these three dots here and it will give you this option link revit family to asset just click it and it will open up this dialog box and it will show you all the revit components uh, loaded into this project so we can just type the name here for the component which we want to link so i will type here car 2 here we have it just select that and click ok there you go the enscape uh, asset is now linked uh, with this one you can see in the plan view still uh, we have this 2d block now if i open this project in enscape you will be able to see the enscape asset instead of this uh, 2d block so let's just check that let's start the enscape so the enscape is now started let's just zoom in here and you can see we got this enscape asset instead of the 2d block but uh, it's rotated so let's fix that let's go back to revit and double click this component to open up the family editor let's go to reference level let's select all and just hold shift key and deselect the reference planes let's rotate it 90 degrees and just try to move it to the center here perfect now let's load it into the project override the existing version and there you go we just want to rotate it here and just select that and hit space bar a couple of times to rotate this component and go back to the endscape and there you go it's looking just perfect we got this 3d model in endscape but in our in our 2d plans we still have this one so you can convert as many AutoCAD components you want uh, into a Revit family and you can use them with your Revit and Enscape projects so that's how you can convert the 2D AutoCAD blocks into Revit components and use them with the Enscape so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my Revit advanced courses. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.